secondly, my concerns with China aren't exclusive to agriculture because there are many examples where dealing with China is a significant challenge, uh, but we need to address these concerns without harming our own economy. Now, given the limited time and resources available to address the long list of China's barriers, how would you prioritize the various challenges U.S. companies face in China, and would legislation such as some of the currency bills that have been introduced affect our ability to deal with these other issues? Well, we, we engage on a whole range of concerns with regard to China, whether it's uh, market access obstacles and uh, or how uh, the concerns that they force the, the transfer of technology as a condition of doing business there. We've pushed back over the last couple of years on their indigenous innovation policies that would have required our intellectual property to be, to be transferred as a condition of doing business or participating in government uh, procurement. We're pushing for the legalization of software, of ensuring that trade secrets are, uh, are, are protected. Um, and across the board, uh, we are looking uh, both through our bilateral dialogue and through enforcement mechanisms to ensure that China upholds its, uh, its WTO obligations. Um, so these, this, the, the complex set of issues you say, both in, inside agriculture but also outside agriculture, are absolutely critical to improving our trade and investment relationship with China. We have a lot of mechanisms to do this, uh, the SNED, the JCCT, our bit negotiations, other engagement with, with China, and we're, we're ensuring that we set priorities so that we're um, uh, making sure we're addressing the most, uh, the, the, the practices of greatest concern to American firms and American businesses. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield.